Hello and welcome to episode 5 of the Bird Box Podcast. I can't believe it's been 5 months since we started this um, and we're just about to hit May. And the dog is just in doing front of us weird things, doing weird things and padding around, so sorry about that. I'm sure you got used to it by now. <laughs> so what have we been up to over this month? Oh my goodness, this month has been a bit of a... Um, but yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> shock no, to the no, system. Um, no, Daniel, we're podcasting today. Yeah, we can't no, shut right. Daniel, we're podcasting it's anymore. Very quiet. He doesn't live here anymore. He doesn't live here anymore. Very quiet. Um, it, it's amazing. We said it the, on the last podcast that he got a, a really great job. He'd been um, unemployed for about 10 months. A job came up, he applied for it. So did 90 other people. And he got it, and it's absolutely incredible. But he's had to move yeah, well to Cardiff, done, and he's been there for two weeks today, and I'm still heartbroken. <laughs> and me and John yeah. aren't jealous at all, are we, John? Not very much. I mean, we, we were both going to be graphic cool designers, company. and then something went, went wrong, wrong, and then we both ended up in teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> so Dan's living the dream. So I, I will not let Dan go into teaching. No, don't, no, we don't need to. <laughs> but yeah, he's been living over there for a couple of weeks, so it's been very strange here. It's just us and the dog now, and um, it's, it's, yeah, it's taken me a while to get used to that. Um, yeah, I think uni's different because he kept coming back, but now he's he's working, think, he's got a new life. I think the dog life. likes it, though. She's yeah, the dog, the dog the dog keeps the dog sleeping, on, sleeping his bed. on his bed. The dog's oh. got a double bed. <laughs> As long as she doesn't start oh, eating as much as he did. Yeah, that's right. true. Yeah. Our, food, our food bill is, is half. I bet. I bet. Um, but we, we do miss him. He leaves a big gap. We do. He's a big boy and he's quite noisy. <laughs> <laughs> it has meant that it's been a quiet month for us with regards to knitting, actually, in quite a few areas because yeah. um, we spent a number of days over in Cardiff trying to find properties for him to live in. Mm. Um, and also just keeping in touch with him, finding out what's going on, yeah. making sure he needs, Buying he's got flat what he pack needs. furniture. <laughs> nice. Putting up Ikea furniture for him, that kind of thing, yeah. Well, don't so worry, I've got loads of That's <laughs> cool, that's all right. Yeah. I've still, not done a lot. We still had a week of uh, school holidays, didn't we, between you did. this podcast and the last Yeah, thing. and she did. still did, did quite a bit of knitting. Yeah, she's basically a knitting machine, so she yeah. whizzes through stuff. I've been a little bit pain with my hands and different parts, but then I am... 13 years older than her, so um, I get achy bones. <laughs> but it, so, has, yeah. it has also been a month for a few new starts, so the Yarn Club went really well for the yeah, first episode yeah. of that. Mum was thrilled with it. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed Grand for Griggles, which was the first yarn that came out. Great yeah, name for really Bluebells. Um, we'll tell you a bit more about that later on in the podcast. And um, also one or two collaborations that are on the horizon mm. and started this month as well, so yeah. really excited about that. Cool. Yeah. It's cool. I had a really cool trip to London as well. Yeah, nice. that was really fun. Yeah, um, did a lot of eating and drinking in really nice places. It was a real treat. Yeah. Went to First cool. Dates restaurant again. Yeah, and that was fun. Oh, <laughs> awesome! Yeah, yeah, you've done some lovely things. I'm trying to wrap my brain. I did. You've a celebrity as well. I did. You oh, oh, I met a so. celebrity this week. I'm so excited. I've seen it all on, on Instagram. Her name's Marina and she's on Gogglebox. <laughs> and she was great on Friday. Big up for Marina. <laughs> I, I saw a celebrity really yesterday. Did you? Randomly. Yeah. I was walking through Bath and I saw Sharon Davis this summer. No way. Wow. I'm pretty sure it was her. We were fairly close and I was like, I think that's her. I was like really staring. Was she, she's very was she a lot taller than Yeah, you? yeah. yeah. Really <laughs> tall, yeah. 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 A lot yeah, taller really than right. her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was her. And I saw a celebrity in London. I always yeah. see celebrities when I go to London. We were in the Ivy in Soho. Only Ivy Brasserie, not that part. Yeah. And we were sitting at the bar, and uh, when I stopped looking at the hot waiter, um, <laughs> my friend was going, there's a celebrity over there, but I don't know his name. And we were like looking at him, and two weeks later, she texted me going, he was in Broadchurch! Oh, oh, no and he way. was Mark Latimer. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I cool. don't watch He's it myself, but I knew him, and I recognised him. One of the main characters. Mm. Yeah, he was, in, he was in Cranford. Oh, he's in, been in lots of other things, stuff. yeah. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. Yeah, cool. yeah. Awesome! So there oh. we have celeb spotting. I got a little bit kind of, oh, and then I went up to her and asked for a selfie, which oh, I never what did. She, what was she like? She, she was really so sweet. She was really I said, sweet. Are you the lady from Google really nice. She said, I am, my dear. Aww. Yeah. I said, Can we have a selfie? She went, yes, of course. She must be quite used to it, by the yeah, yeah, I think she was a bit, yeah. Bit of a star. Oh, yeah, she's cute. Well, listen, it seems as if there is quite a lot actually has gone on over this month. Oh, so crazy. I think I'd better leave you two to it. Yeah. And you can talk about all your works in progress and, and you. Up to <laughs> talk about me if you like. Okay, well, I'll catch up with you a bit later. Okay, okay. cheers. Bye. Right then, so um, time for some knitting. Yeah. So, um, 
FAs this month. Wow, but I you think know, look, we're a bit matchy matchy. Do you notice? Know, Veronica on today. <laughs> I finished mine. I suddenly got a little bit of a. A spurt of uh, enthusiasm. Yeah, it's, I, um, it's, it can be a little bit monotonous because it's quite. It's a. It's, it's when a you go and leave a rose across the back. Fabric is a very big. Piece Once of you get to the the decrease of the yeah, it goes like short really suddenly. And then yeah, but you did You made a couple of modifications. Yeah, so you? when I made, I finished making mine and I put it on, walked from one room to another, and in the process got caught on three door handles. So if I'm not <laughs> having this, Which so mad. you're only supposed to seam the rib in there. But I actually seamed it right up there to make the armholes a lot smaller, and then and because I, I did it, it Claire did the same thing. I did the same thing. Because but every door handle you walk past, you you fling yourself back into the room, and it's really annoying. But it's just such a fab pattern. Oh, it's love lovely it. to wear. It's, it's really cosy. Um, goes with my dungarees, so I really like it. Love it. Um, and it was Audi yarn, so it was. Three ninety nine, but I had to just break into my second ball. Oh, that you did. It's really nice. So annoying. Yeah. Probably for yeah. I don't know fifty meters, yeah. if that. Yeah. So you've got seven hundred fifty still, meters of fiber. A fiber. But you'd be able fine. to make something else. <laughs> yeah. Left over, anyway. Exactly. So it's fine. Exactly. Because yeah. this is a big garment. You know, yeah. it's not fitted. It's like there's a lot of fabric. Yeah. There, so. It's great. I love but it. It's yeah. lovely. It's snuggly. Like but it's quite good for the spring because you got your arms out. I think a pin would be like a short yeah. pin or something because it does. It doesn't fall very nice. That's what I always think it. Just looks a bit funny when it. You've falls. got to get it right. If you can get it, so it like falls nice over your bum. Yes, it falls nicely over my bum. Yeah, okay. it's, it's all right. <laughs> Not that you want to see that. Um, but but we yeah, got a wide angle lens today. Show your face. I might, yeah, I quite fancy yeah. a pin there. I've, I bought some like kilt pin. Oh yeah, ones. that'd you be can cool. Have some of these if you yeah. want. I've got loads of them. My brother, but I love this. We came in from a walk this morning with our eldest son, and I was the house was colder than it was outside, so I just chucked this on over my jumper. It's so nice. 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 So right you then. go because you've got a little pile of finishes. I have. Back. So my first finished item, <gasps> you might have seen in our opening credits, hopefully, if John's able to put the videos in. So I finished my Hermione's Everyday so Socks. Cute. Now, um, pattern looks fab. This yarn is the big one from Fab Funky Fibers. I think it's 24 colour Incredible. repeat. Incredible. And then I use their navy blue for the toes. Um, and the pattern is Hermione's Everyday Socks mm. by Eric Luda, which I love. It's just, it's virtually like a vanilla sock to me, really. I now. think it looks so much nicer in that. It looks yarn. lovely. And it makes it, it really like, um, brings the stripes out. Yeah, I think so. Um, and you'll notice that with the leftovers, I made a little pair for Freya. Now, I was hoping to show them, but I gave them to her yesterday and there was no You're price. Them back. She wore them all day. She wore them to bed. She woke up saying, I've got my rainbow socks on. Mm -hmm. So there was no chance. Nope. But she loved them and they're a little bit too big so they'll yeah, last her a nice last. long time. So. And Becky's going to get a matching tutu as well. Yeah, I want the matching tutu. <laughs> yeah. um, I only bought it for her because I wanted it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with those. Um, oh, I can't them. wait to wear them. Absolutely they're not really wearing them. socks now so they might... Well, might go know. in my pile. Well, Seven yeah. degrees today is I know, freezing. I know. I'm starting to think that everything I make now is going to go in a pile and then in September, October time I'll look forward <gasps> to having a whole pile of yeah, new knitted things. Yeah, yeah. I did that last year just with socks and it was so nice. Yeah. Okay, really sorry. John, the dog wants to go out. <laughs> Typical. Right then. Should I do another one? Yeah. Right. You, you need to meet this little guy. He's so cute. He's Bon Bon Bunny. He's so cute. He is the cutest thing. Oh, sorry. I should have done the Kerry look away thing. Oh. Kerry, look, look away. away. I don't Kerry. think she watches. Um. So this is for our new great niece or nephew who is due in just 14 weeks time and we're hoping to, to see a new picture of today. They're having a 4D scan so it's very exciting. Yeah. So Bon Bon Bunny is a pattern by um, No Knit Sherlock, which I just love the name. Um, oh, look at that tail. It's the best so tail cute. ever. This pattern was, it's just genius. It's absolutely genius. It's yeah, I've loved really them. easy yeah. and you join it as you go you knit in the pieces so there's no complicated seaming or worrying that it's going to come apart no, which worries me with drag like it that. around as much as they um, like and I love all like the heavy limbs and the floppy ears and stuff it's oh, really, 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 it really cute really, really close so the so yarn yeah. it was leftovers from my what the fade it's oh. um troublemaker by Olan Held double with boudoir by West Green Loft Yarn. Oh, so, so it was great fusing up they leftovers. Made for each other, they? Um, I've, I'll show you in a minute. I've started another one already. I think I'm just going to need a supply of these yeah. in for like babies' birthdays oh, and I've things. Got tons of yarn you can have. But they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I, I love just it. love it. Oh, I, love I just love it. If you want to make a toy, go for that pattern. It's awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I also recommend it the too. pattern. Um, when you look on the Ravelry page, it says worsted yarn. But in yeah. the pattern, it doesn't actually state you yarn can use needle any. size. Yeah, if yeah. You can use any. So I use fingering held double. Mm. I've done uh, one in DK. Yeah. So I think you know you could do you, you could do one in worsted and it'd be a little bit yeah. bigger. It'd be lovely, yeah. wouldn't it? Oh, I think absolutely. that's probably the smallest I would yeah, go. Yeah, like, yeah. I think fingering yeah. would be a bit too tiny. But yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, use any yarn you've got. that one. Oh, it's awesome. Go on, go for it. Right, hang on, I need a drink. You do? Okay. Mm. I haven't got any effort. Right, okay. Um, next one. This one's not actually an effort. This is a mended object. <laughs> because, this is really weird. I ne I've never had any problems with going through my socks before. I made these socks probably about this time last year. I think I made them when I was laid up on my hip. Yeah. They're the um, Vintage Fairy Light Socks by um, Helen Stewart. Another great pattern. Great, great pattern. Love I think pattern. these were the first patterned socks I ever did. I love that pattern. And I wore, and I've got another pair of um, that I showed a few months back called the Snowfall Socks. Mm. And I wore them around London. And when I took my boots off, I had holes in both toes. I've never done that. So I thought that's really weird. But maybe it's just because I was on my feet for a long time. Well, the next week I wore these, and I think it was only to work, and I had the same problem, and I thought, this is really weird. Is I never go yarn? through on socks. Same yarn? No. No. Put my hand inside my boots. Oh, I had a rough bit inside my boots. no. So that's what it was. I was blaming, because the other socks were um, BFL bamboo. bamboo, and I thought, oh, that's it, it's the bamboo, it's rubbit, you know. But no, I take it back, the bamboo's great. It was my, my scratchy old <gasps> boots, so I throw those boots out now. Um, so what I did was I just picked up the stitches and knit a new toe on it and I quite like it, oh, it's quite fun, it's, I think it's one of yeah, your I minis, love it. I love it. one of your cocktail minis, oh, yeah, it is. and it just sort of um, just pepped the socks up a little bit. Yeah I love it, it really so, picks up on the Yeah, so that, that yarn is really fun, it's um, Industrial Accident by uh, Mothy and the Squid oh, on um, Donegal Coloured Neps. So it's Gorgeous. really crazy yeah, pretty. Really lovely. Love it. Yeah, so, oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad you rescued them. I was worried so, about that. Yeah, that's one rescue pair, and I've got another rescue, another pair of two rescue. Oh, you've got to do another one. Next one. So <laughs> this is, oh, now Kate would love this because Kate just thinks I knit nothing but flax lights. <laughs> so this is for Kate. Um, <laughs> I've knit another flax light this time <laughs> just to make it more interesting. I've not done the garter panel again because it just makes it a lot quicker and this time I decided to do a little rolled oh, collar cute. so sleeves. instead of doing the rib the ribs around the top I yeah. did a little rolled collar and then I did short sleeves so I thought it'd be oh, really cute lovely. over a long sleeved t-shirt no this one's actually from my friend Ted's niece Isla oh um, beautiful yarn. who's about the same age as Freya and her mum's always admiring my knitting so I said I'd make her something this yarn is by our good friend Sophie at um, Pixie, <gasps> Pixie Yarns um, it's called 22 which we're uh, it informed that was her favourite number two is her favourite number so that's why she called why it not 22 twice? why not <laughs> and the colours are amazing there's like little neon <gasps> flashes got everything is sort of pastel and neon also bright. I wish I brought the rest of the yarn with me because in the cake it looks like quite pale doesn't uh, it yeah and it knits up like so much more like oh yeah it's really word, poppy. like intense yeah. yeah yeah it's really poppy gorgeous she's gonna love it she's Busy. a real pretty little thing oh, she's gonna love that, that so, looks so i cute. send that off in the next few days for her dance girl something really really cute yeah it would be cute and maybe dungarees or something oh, like that i do have something finished but i didn't make it <laughs> so the funny thing is <laughs> we, i dyed up some yarn a little while back and it was sitting in the shop for a little bit so i gave it to mum to knit up just to show off the yarn a bit and actually somebody bought all the other three skeins yesterday so I haven't got any left anyway so this is our Duchess the Duchess yarn and this is it in is DK gorgeous. what was the hat pattern called now I can't remember now oh no oh. I'll have to find out and get John to put it on the screen yeah we'll find out the hat pattern I did buy it on Ravelry for mum it's a to mock knit up. cable I yeah it much. is mock cable but I just love the yarn. I mean, she stuck a gorgeous pom pom on. Unfortunately, it's a little bit small for us too, because we have quite generous heads. Yeah, the Normans <laughs> have big heads, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, but this will go to Freya in the summer. In, in the summer. In October for her birthday. In October for her birthday, and she'll love that because you're not allowed to go to Freya's house without something knitted. No, and I'll just point out because a few people have asked me lately. This pom pom is a 90p key ring from Primark. <laughs> And the elastic so all you do is it. just prise the um, key ring attachment off and it's on quite like a nice solid elastic loop and then I just thread that through the hole at the top and sew it in 
and it's just as good as a it's brilliant a I think 5.99 it's, brilliant. it's not even remotely wobbly or anything no and they're they're a bit more solid they're so solid lovely they look really nice and so. that will just look so the only problem is at the moment they don't have that many colors in but hopefully they'll yeah i keep i just keep checking to make sure it's sorry um you didn't hear me last time john let the dog out <laughs> Sorry, she's standing with she's being face really practically annoying. up against the back door. Um, yeah. So yeah, this yarn is gorgeous, but unfortunately <laughs> we no longer have any left. Um, it would look amazing in a in a sweater. Yeah, somebody's bought three skeins, and so I guess that's what they're going to do yeah, with it. I think so it's off to Texas. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, if you if you're watching and you bought it, yeah, show, show us what you make with it. What you made. <laughs> Definitely, but I absolutely love it. it feels amazing. Mum was thrilled. She said it. Just knitted up so nice. Oh, she, she really enjoyed it, didn't she? Like a day or two. I, yeah, literally two days. That was that was yeah. done. So lovely, lovely, lovely. Right. The My last fo is um, a slightly bigger pair of socks than you'll normally see me make. <laughs> She's These... not going to do it again. That's for sure. <laughs> no, do you know uh, what? I, it it didn't wasn't mind. that bad yeah, actually. I knit most of them on the way yeah. to um, London in the car. Um, so it was, you know, I was just chatting and listening to music and stuff so it wasn't oh, too bad. So this is um, John's The Commodore yarn. So it's lovely, it's got, um, it's a lot more variegated than you'd yeah, realise actually. Yeah, it's a tonal actually. blue and it, it was kind of, it was yellow and then over dyed. Yeah, so. and it's got some lovely really dark navy bits. Yeah. So these are um, a size 11 and a half. <laughs> they are my feet are a, size, a small five. <laughs> so it's quite a bit <laughs> yeah. bigger than mine. These, are, holiday in these are actually for Freya's dad for his birthday. He's been nagging me for ages for some socks. He wears so. Crocs and they're like, they're like boots. boots. <laughs> but there we go. He, he will be thrilled with those, I'm sure. He, he feels a bit left out, doesn't he? He does. He's, I keep saying, no, but your feet are too big. And he's like, well, you like knitting. What's the problem? He just doesn't get don't it. Don't get it the hard work that goes into but, it. No, not that. It's not that. It's that, you know, that we like knitting, but we like knitting on lots of different projects. We don't want to knit Just on one vanilla on pair of socks. Enormous socks. He yeah. doesn't get the whole, the, yeah. um... <laughs> well, I'm thrilled with how your yarn's knitted But it looks there. lovely. Really chuffed with that. I love the variation in yeah. it. Yeah. Pops of yellow. It, and... Like, I, you said to me, like, isn't it going to be boring knitting navy socks, navy vanilla socks? No, but, but actually, it's, not, it's so tonal. Tall. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah. lovely. Oh, I hope he likes them. Yeah. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. <gasps> So I have <laughs> <laughs> the teeniest nephews in the world. <laughs> <My eyebrows. laughs> or a moustache. Um, so um, we're just getting involved in, um, it's, it's for the Rainbow Run. So Children's Hospice Southwest every year do the Rainbow Run. And you run across the downs. I run it, it's amazing. And you run through different stations at different times and they throw powder paint at you. And by the end of it, you're absolutely plastered in paint and you're all different colours. You really are. I couldn't get it off for days. It was, and it's it was mostly all underwear. merged together and ends up like a murky brown anyway. But so I don't, I'm not sure what's happening with these. It's to promote the rainbow runs. Right. So they're hoping to make 5,000 of them. They want to make 5,000 um, rainbows. To distribute, to um to promote it. Because it's not just on the Bristol Downs. It's, oh, it's everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, right in the southwest. I yeah, think. southwest. But I thought they make good eyebrows. Yeah, they're um, very nice. So I made a couple of those. The pattern is very simple, just a few increases, and it says it's courtesy of Tina Rogers, um, and it's for Charlton Farm, which is where our nephews go to hospice. And it's a lovely place. My it's friend, my friend works there, yeah. so she's sort of got us all involved, hasn't she? Yes, so, she um, has, and it's they just do the most incredible job there. Yeah. And our boys just they have yeah. the best time when they go there. And obviously, our brother and his wife get to have a bit of a break. So um, yeah, it's great so place. it's really important to us. It's a very very special yeah. place to us. And I kind of I'll go into something else that I'm doing for Charlton Farm. May as well. While we're, yeah, yeah, go for it. Because it's kind of a finished object. So. Um, my gorgeous friend Nikki, or our gorgeous friend Nikki, who's Clara, yes, Peggerty, Clara Peggerty on Instagram, um, asked if I'd like some of her sort of weaving leftovers. Um, she was having a bit of a sort out, I think. And so she sent me some woven fabrics and and she sent me some lining She's fabrics. So and odd. I just thought, oh, I, I can't just make them and sell them. I, I wouldn't feel right doing yeah. that. So we decided that I'd make some bags and um, we would send the money to Charlton Farm. Children's Hospice Southwest, so I've made some kind of bucket style bags. This one's not finished yet because it doesn't have any poppers on, so there'll be a popper, popper there and there to hold it together. It's got a, a little handle, it's got a funky nice. lining, and then I thought you can just roll them down 
and just use them like bins so you can just set them up. I do that with most of my project bags. Yeah. It's very I handy. Just, I thought, I, I, I think well, with all the bulk, I didn't want to try and put zips in either. So, but this is one of them. Love this one. So I've got to finish that one off. Nikki is one. awesome. Weaving oh, goals. Look at this. <gasps> How did you do that? It's She's awesome. genius. It is incredible. Woman. So it's a, li a linen viscose base. And then she sent me this gorgeous lining. It's sort of floral, but it's got birdies on oh. it. And it's, it's really pretty. It just seems to go really well with that. And I put a handle on this one as it's well. Very um, farmhouse kitchen, yes, that one. Yes, isn't it? I love so it. Should call it. But it's really funny because she sent me the pile of fabrics and they all seem to go with something. Yeah. Wow, well, she's not just saying to go. Wow. There's no handle on this one because it was the first one I made. Sorry, right. don't, they don't ask for it because they're going to have to fight me for that one. Really oh, I'll definitely have this one because it's got pencils. It's got pencils in it. It's so cute. And it's nice white bottom and it's just a bit like you really. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> um, What's that. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I love it. You can roll it down and um, yeah, just it sits up nicely. I did, I made the interfacing firmer on the bottom so because it's got to hold the weight of the, the weaving. But I love that one so much. And um, trouble is, when you put two poppers on, I see faces. <laughs> It just, <laughs> just looks like eyes, and then oh, it really see, annoys me. I couldn't work out what you meant. It's got eyes. And so it's this one... at me. So I had to take them off of this one and put three in, because it looked like it had a, a funny mouth as well. <laughs> now it looks like an alien. It just looks like an alien. So this one's enormous. You weirdo. Oh, I, I know. So I have three poppers, because it is really large. It's a That'd very... That would be really good for, like, a scrappy blanket. Perfect. Like it's certainly sweater size, that's oh, for sure. And I love this one. It doesn't match up, but that's just the nature of the weaving. But I love it, and it's got gorgeous clouds. Oh. So this... All the money will go to Charlton Farm. So when are they going in the shop? Well, I don't know that they'll go in the shop. They may okay. just go on Instagram okay. um, because of Etsy fees and that kind of thing. Um, I've got yeah. three more to make, which I'm hoping to get done this week. So it could be as soon as the week after. So um, keep your eyes peeled in the next couple of weeks on Instagram and I will announce when they're going up for sale. Um, but Nikki is actually sending me some of her handmade buttons to go on there. Oh, I said, I've, got, female I've got my Bird Street logo, and she's sending me oh, the, yeah, some, her, some hugs from Clara. They kind of knitted buttons, they look yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, and so not the hugs ones. Oh, right, okay. Her female knitted buttons, so there will be buttons going on there as well from Nikki as well. So Sorry, the dog's just licked my hand. <laughs> she loves you. Oh, honestly. So I've just I've got a couple more fabrics. So these oh, are the I fabrics love, I've got left. I love lovely. I love this one. So it's grey with colourful stripes. Love that, that one. That reminds me of like crayons or something. I know. That would look nice with a pencil. Right? Yeah. yeah. This one's browns, so it'll be obviously it'll be darker on the back. That's nice. One and oh, sort of lighter, but yeah, I I just think it's lovely. I absolutely love it. That's pretty. And then a lovely pastel coloured one. Tell you what, there's a a West Yorkshire Spinner's sock yarn that looks like that. Yeah. Colours. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some nice ones. Yeah, the, um, are they cocktails? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. So those, I've got three more to make. In fact, I've got some more of this one. So I'll probably do another one like this as well, but be a different lining. Um, so yeah, there should be eight all together. It's not very many, but, um, the money will be really yeah, well, well used. used. Um, yeah, I can't tell yeah. you what... An amazing place that is, and the staff there are just yeah. out of this world. They really are. Awesome. Yeah. Right then, so, oh, have you got any other FOs? I've got You've one got more. On. I've got a sewing FO. Ooh, because me. my hands have been bad, and my elbow's been painful, and oh, I'm just a miserable old bag. There's <laughs> um, nothing to do with your hands there. And I've been a bit, because mm, Dan left home and I've just been a bit meh. So I didn't want to knit too much and I couldn't knit too much because my fingers are painful. So I made a dress. That's cool. So I love like the fabric. Um, it's kind of heavy t-shirt. Like sweatshirt. Almost light sweatshirt and it's it's embossed. I want a sweatshirt like that. <laughs> so it's kind of got a floral embossed. That's the inside. Oh yeah. You can't see it so well yeah, on the it outside and it's, outside, it's it? metallic. That is so cool. So I made this dress, I added a pocket, it didn't have a pocket on the pattern, it's just a shift dress. It's not very tidy around the neckline because I don't have an overlocker. 
The sleeves are a little bit tight. I do feel a bit like a Tyrannosaurus. Is that your bingo wings? Wow, it could be my bingo wings. Do you know any Tyrannosaurus yeah. ones? Um, <laughs> but I put it on and John said, oh, you look like something out of Star Trek. Oh. So now I don't want to wear it. Yeah, but he doesn't. What does he know? So you, you can have it if you want. Can I? Yeah. I love it. Because <laughs> I'm not going to wear it. He made me, <laughs> made me feel like Lieutenant Uhuru. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'm not well, there you go. Right no, well, you're not old like me either. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just don't worry. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my dress code. Cool. I have, I have plans, but yeah. we'll go into that later. Cool. So, whips. My first whip. I'm gutted. I managed to leave it at home. I can't believe you. So, did hopefully, that. John's going to pop a little picture in here. So, my first whip is the um, herbarium sweater by mm. NCL Knit. It's so gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. Oh, the pattern. I saw. The um, colour. I watched Tales from Yarnia, mm -hmm. Hannah, and she made it. I keep a, meaning to watch it. lovely, that. you should watch it. Um, she knits really lovely things. Um, she made it in grey, so I was like, oh, I need that jumper. Like, that is really my style. It's quite a nice like spring one because it's lacy on the mm. front and it's quite fitted, mm -hmm. so it's not a warm woolly jumper. Um, and I bought uh, Drops Baby Merino oh, for colour it. The colour is Wall Warehouse have got stunning. Drops Baby Merino for oh. 195 for 50 grams. Mm -hmm. So... I've bought quite a lot of it. So I've bought all of the yarn for it for 12 quid. Mm. So it's a bargain. And I bought it in electric blue. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Which is really, oh. really pretty. So I'm, I've not done very much yet. I've probably done about maybe five or six inches. But I'm enjoying every stitch. I had a little bit of a, um, a wobble over the pattern. There was a tricky bit, wasn't there? I ended up, me, me and mum sat down. And I think it might have been something to do with the translation or something, I don't know. But it it confused me and then um there were some different charts but i've worked it out and I, it made me so chuffed that i managed to work that out it um, makes me chuffed because you weren't really into knitting no i wasn't and then you started at all. knitting socks and you thought you'd only knit socks and then you're just trying everything yeah and I love it. mine is really nice isn't it I it's love so it. satisfying when it you work out something complicated me very happy now i'm not um afraid to try anything no. which is really nice you so. shouldn't be yeah so um Hopefully, I'll keep going on that one. You'll oh, probably see it again as a whip, I would imagine. I doubt if I'll finish it this month. Um, I don't know, who knows? I've got a bit of half term, haven't I, this month? But I've also got a very, very busy month, so we shall see. Mm. But yeah, that's an exciting one. I can't believe I, I can't left, believe it. You left it. I will, I, there, there are some um, progress pictures on my Instagram. Um, if you want to hop over there and have a little look. Yeah, she's very organised, this lady. It surprises me. <laughs> So, yeah, works in progress have been a bit, meh, not a lot of progress on anything in particular. So, I start with my starting point. It's a good place to start. Yeah. There's <laughs> a song do, about that. Do start me <laughs> Yeah, don't start her singing. Especially not the sound, sound of music. music. Oh my gosh, she's such a nerd. Right, okay, so last time I did the grey, the ochre, the grey and the blue. So, I have actually finished clue two this side. It's really cool because... You're knitting across for such a long time, and then you you decrease and all sorts. So I see you end up with a square, the square edge. You can see how it's going to grow. Yeah. Um, and yeah. So I was gonna that. I was gonna knit this, but now it's got to be fading point for me. Very. Exciting. I think it should be. I think it should be. For I've you. even found a picture so, of the colours I want, and I've just shown John. So, so yeah, I'm just about to start Pluto on this one. So I'm not any further on this one. So everybody's seen that. Lovely. So that is my starting point by Hoki Locatelli, which <gasps> I'm going to meet her. Yeah, while I'm at work. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. She's going to be at the Curious Handmade Retreat in Bath and they're opening the marketplace to the public. And it's £5 a ticket. And these things never happen in our neck of the woods, do they? They're always like over never, on the east ever, coast or something. No, nothing ever happens nope. in the west country. And now so it is I'm going to take, work. I'm going to take Mo. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We'll get we'll get her to sign a book for you or something. We've got an interesting week though, haven't we, that week? It's, it's um, Amy's Trunk Show the same week. Amy's so. Trunk Show the same week. Mum's 70. Oh, this will go. It's nuts. So yeah, I'm going to go and see her here. And I'm so excited. Well, ho ho as John calls. Ho ho as John calls. <laughs> He didn't Bye. mean to call her that. <laughs> he shouted at us that. He didn't mean to call her that. <laughs> it was quite funny though. Oh dear. So, yeah. Right. <gasps> this is an Ooh, exciting this looks whip. Lush. I'm enjoying every stitch of this one as well. So since I knit the... Ooh. What was it called? I always forget. Was that for Lisa? Asana wrap yeah. for Lisa in, in January. Oh, I gorgeous. have started the Yumea wrap by oh. Amber O'Brien. Love it. 
and I bought the yarn at <sighs> Unravel. Like iridescent. It's so cool. <gasps> so, my word. So it started here, and I love the gradient on this yarn. It was oh. a soft blank by um, Mint B. There's not a lot of it left now. Um, was that at Unravel? Yeah. She had a lovely store. Didn't yeah, she? and it's. Um, Silky. Merino and silk, yeah. so it's got a lovely drape to it. And you'll see as it progresses down, oh. it's alternated with a, just a grey drops. And then look at the oh, gradient of colour. That is so amazing. Pretty. I have a similar one upstairs from Eden Yarn. It's lovely. And oh. then the lacy bits are in, I'm saying this for Jules in my most Bristolian accent, P Knickers <laughs> <laughs> by Amy, Stranded Dye Works, with a bit of uh, Stellina in it. Sparkle. So. Got a bit of sparkle. The lace was lovely, really, really <gasps> nice lace. Sure. Um, so what I'm doing now, there's like a big panel of stripes again, and Love then a it. really large panel of lace. And what's beautiful about this pattern is that because it finishes on the lace, you just keep going until you run out of yarn or until it's your desired length. Mm, so it's perfect. really like a really you nice. Can really use up loads of yarn. Then yeah. You can use up stash. So it's just going to be lovely. I can't <gasps> wait to wear it. It is a very, just my colours very, as well. Very pretty. Oh, and Bo Bryan, all of her shorts are see the lace. She's just released a new one oh, called Love It Audra. Oh, okay. And it's it looks kind of similar, like sort of stripes and then panels of lace, which mm. is kind of her style. Yeah. But her shapes are really interesting. So this one is sort of it's like a crescent merging into an asymmetrical triangle okay. almost. And like it's she does meringue. some sort of yeah, and she does some sort of um like long but with like parallelogram kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. shapes like they're, they're different shapes. they're not all um no. triangles or crescents not clear on anything too and the way she styles them triangular even the way she styles them on her patterns are really cool i think that's what sells it yeah, to me yeah because yeah. i love that look well, you can like, work out how to wear it really nicely yeah. styled shape. i don't know how many shawls i've made in the past <laughs> i don't know how to wear yeah i think that's why her patterns are good because they actually sort yeah. of give you suggestions yeah when Lisa comes into work wearing the one I made her, I have to, I style her up sometimes. She's like, can you style me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but oh, I, I try. It. It's so exciting. <laughs> oh, I love it when somebody's wearing your, your thing. I know. So, I started oh, Sorry. Uh, on this Oh, pattern. Kerry, look away. Kerry, look away. She won't be watching. <laughs> it's the Barely Bonnet. And it's a little hat with so ears cute. for our great... Whatever oh, we don't know. Nibbling. Nibbling. <laughs> so it's really little. It's so tiny. So I've made the bonnet. It's kind of inside. Well, I hope it doesn't have a Norman head. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's the worry. <laughs> that's I had a join in the yarn right Aww. there. So that is actually the right side. Although it shouldn't have any ribbing in it, but I kind of went a bit wrong. But I think it looks quite pretty. Oh, it's pretty, yeah. Um I could try and hide that, but I'm not no, too fussed. Turn it, the way turn it inside out, and um, that's blocked. So I just put some ties on, and then I've started knitting the ears. But gosh, I'm finding the little Fiddly. needles a bit painful. So I've made half an ear, so that's like the front of an ear, which will go that's on the hat. So cute. So I'm, I, I really want to try and finish that. I might try You've got and a while. today, actually. You've got a while, it's fine. I, look at this shoddy workmanship on this bag. <gasps> Oh, Shocking. Yeah. Send it back. I yeah, would. We'll say now that that was one of your early ones. It was one of my early ones. You wouldn't. And that was hand stitching. Yeah, exactly. Hand. You wouldn't. Sell that. That's fine. <laughs> How funny. Right. Next whip. Oh, now these. These I haven't. I started quite a while back and I haven't made a lot of progress. These are the Rita socks by oh, Little Bobbins. Okay. Very pretty. So really lovely lacy pattern and because everyone's knitting things held mm. double with mohair i wanted to have a go mm. um so i i've just used um some socks yeah and i think it had a funny name i can't remember what the name of the yarn is let me find it larimar color 119 lovely really pretty yeah. and then just some wendy air some nice. nice cream mohair so i've only done one pattern repeat at the moment because i did I started, I did the rib, which is one by one twisted rib. You're um, probably doing the rib holding it double. On the, everything I've done, I've just done uh, the rib really? plane. Yeah, I'm wet behind the ears, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, yeah, it was quite tough on the hand yeah. actually. But I did the rib and then I started the pattern and I went wrong in the pattern and it was just easier just to start again because yeah. once, you know, the mohair just makes it like yeah, Velcro, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, 
yeah, you can just about see the pattern emerging. Let me get a bit closer. Oh, lovely. So they're going to be really pretty. I, I am finding it quite tough on the hands, though, because yeah. obviously it's a bit tighter gauge than normal. Yeah. Um, but they'll be lovely to knit, and I'm in no rush now, because I won't be wearing them for a little while. But it's oh. so soft. Mm. Scrummy. But it, I love it. It just doesn't interrupt. You can see the yarn yeah. perfectly. It's yeah. absolutely fine. They're just going to be lovely. Like so. bed socks. Yeah. Love them. That's what I was thinking. Oh, so, so soft. Um, yeah, and really my colour. Yeah. Lovely icy blue. Yeah, beautiful. So, yeah. Love those. So, so a little baby whip. <laughs> nice. Well, I thought I'd just do something maybe with larger needles. I thought larger needles might be better for me right now. And I treated myself to this. This is my only acquisition since last time. Oh Interpretation's goodness. four, but I'm going to get number five and I'm going to get it signed. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm. I do feel really, really mean. No, you but, um, oh, I don't. But I feel horribly mean, but... Uh, it's not going to stop me from going. <laughs> you know, we might have to go out beforehand as well, but I'm not going to say anymore. I want to make this. Look at that coat. Oh, I love oh, that coat. I love that coat. How stunning is that coat? There's so many things in this book mm. that I would knit. They're both awesome. I love direction. I love that one before the page before it was lacy that looked that pretty. That is absolutely little bird. Oh then you have to make it if it's called little, little bird. bird. But it's made of lace and that kind of terrifies me. Yeah but lace is no problem. I know. I know lace I know. is only yarn over. So oh it's just it's a it? really fabulous book but I'm going with the much loved um, and much made. Do you know I only realised the other day that that was a hoey pattern. Did I didn't know what planet I've been on. So I'm making this, and do you know what, it's so lovely, it's such a gorgeous pattern. Her patterns are so yeah. good, like, easy yeah. to follow. I sit there going, oh, how did she do that? How did she come up with that? It's amazing. And I was knitting on this the other day, and Mr B walked in and went, oh, that's lovely. He said, is that brioche? <laughs> he knows the word. <gasps> I was so brainwashed, that man. So like Dad always talks about blocking. I love. <laughs> right, we've got these increases here. They go along there, and they're like little crosses. Oh, Look, yeah. you see how they cross over? So <gasps> clever. I sat there going, <gasps> yours is the same colour as the, the one in the pattern. Almost the same. I just, I happen to have a ton of this stuff in stash. So it's Samness Garn, perfect. And it's like a marled grey and a marled pink. And I'm not really pinky, I've got red hair and... But it was there and it was cheap and I bought it and I've got loads of well, them. Well, that way it's kind of, you know, it's a practice, isn't it? It doesn't matter if it goes wrong. And actually, it doesn't feel I well think well. I like it and if, if it doesn't suit me, then I somebody will. Right. Right. So I did what Amy often does on uh, um, Stranded Podcast. And I, I made the ribbon taller and I'll fold it over and sew it in. That's nice. I think that looks really professional like that. Yeah, just because I think sometimes a cast on it can just look a bit ropey. Mm. So I've done all the increases, you do your, um, well, I haven't done all the increases actually, that's rubbish. Um, for a stop, <laughs> I was going to say, you've got tiny shoulders, yeah. that's all the increases. <laughs> I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> um, that's the but, name of the podcast today, Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> so yeah, you do short row shaping at the back. To I love a bit of sh short row shaping. <laughs> I can't <laughs> short row shaping. <laughs> Sean Connery. Uh, so yeah. I love it. If you haven't thought about knitting it, or if you have thought about knitting it, do it. Do it. It's so nice. Do it. And this yarn's lovely, actually. I was looking forward to blocking it. It's just... Yeah, it's a little, well, little bit worthy, yeah, but well, not nylon, but that's fine. I, I don't... It doesn't bother me anyway, no. so... A tough old boot. I am a tough old boot. <laughs> it being so nice. Good job, I love there. you, isn't it? Right then, so um, my last whip is another... Bon Bon Bunny, as I mentioned before, and it's a very, very new whip, as you'll see. Oh. All I have is one. <gasps> colour, though. The, so the colours are more leftovers from my um, What the Fade. It is Flamingo by Ching Fibres, oh. held double with Life in Plastic by Easy Knit. Oh. So I'm slight, uh, slightly concerned I'm not going to have enough, but I'm just going to go with it, and if I run out, I run out. Um, you'll be alright. So I got these two which is really nice i just thought i'm gonna make a few of them yeah. while i'm enjoying them yeah and then you know they're nice little, little presents or you know i know a few people who are having babies who we don't know people are always having whether they're babies. pink or blue ones so um Absolutely. We can 
We can have a little stash. Um, I don't think I've made a lot of progress on these, so um, I think I might have pulled the toe out of this one actually because it wasn't quite long enough. Yeah, I think that's so what the you were going to do last time. Uh, mm. got the heel, but it's, it really messed up. The stitches are twisted, and I'm a bit worried now about. I think that's what's put me off of knitting it because I think uh. I'm going to end up with a hole somewhere. But yeah, still gorgeous. Just not really got any <laughs> further on them. I have started mm. the second one. But yeah, the ne little needles are kind of freaking me out at the moment. See, I find painful, bigger painful fingers, bigger needles hurt my hands more. Yeah, bigger just, yarn hurts I think my hands I more. Grip hold of it. I think I, I get look. I try and kind of See, go I'm relax. Very, very, and I very relax. Loose next I <laughs> get a bit. Yeah. And this, this is the the finger that kind of grips everything, and it's just and that's all. Just too painful at the moment. So yeah, they will the other be way. done. I don't think I have. No, I do. I think I've got left is a little tiny bit of stash. Well, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Right, so, excuse me. Popped into um, Wall Bath yesterday, which is one of our local yarn shops. Now we are lucky. We're very lucky. This is a lovely little shop. Gorgeous. Um, even if the lady's dog was looking a bit rude and rude, but there I think he was, he was quite pleased to see me. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I bought some. I'm sort of stockpiling some. Um, I want to get some. Some DK because this time of year I start making some Christmas presents mm. um, because I didn't want to make things to wear necessarily because it's getting it's a little bit warmer. Um, so I thought if I get some DK, I can make some mitts or hats or things to mm. save for Christmas presents. So I got some oh, more of this yarn. Erica Knight um, British Blue. 100 which is 100% BFL it's like the big boy that I bought from Easy Knit yeah and the colour oh, is called it's called Kanoko so lovely um, squishy yeah really squishy so I actually used this I bought this colour a little while back and ended up making it into a present for a friend and I loved it so much I wanted to get some more mm. and also I've got a chunk of that left over so I uh, might be able to get yeah, a little bit, two hats out of yeah, that yeah. and the chunk I've got yeah. and the other thing I bought was Another gain mm. of socks yet in this gorgeous so neon pink. You should put it up to that ginormous one. Yeah. <laughs> um, the owner of um, Woolbath posted this on um, her Instagram so stories neon. the other day, and I was like, oh, oh, I need that. It's called Xenon. You can see why it glows. So bright. Oh. I just thought it'd be funky to have. I'm hanging on for um, Hohe's two colour sock pattern. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think that might go with a yeah, grey or that might be in there. I'm looking yeah. for a sat pattern. Love it. And then my only other acquisition is oh, this actually, bag yeah. of... Um, I did some damage drops, with Drops Baby, baby Marino. Marino. <laughs> like we said, it was uh, 195, 90 or something. 195 a ball, I think. So I got these three colours. Mum just made a <gasps> three colour cashmere cowl. And I thought it might be nice um, for a Christmas knit. Yeah. So I got those three colours which oh they didn't put the, the color names do they so i've got no. 21 which is black 27 and 34 which i don't know what they're called but they look nice together Mum made um her three color cashmere cowl using our yarn club from last month gram for griggles it's kind of blue belly colors and she put it with two different yeah uh, ones of those and it looks i think actually smashing. That one was yeah it was one of the colors i bought two of those as well because i thought that's quite a good neutral baby yeah. knit <clears throat> i bought some of those what's it called uh, sea glass Sea glass, yeah. Color forty three. Yeah, I bought it's some of that. One. I got some beige and some, or I bought some orange and some turquoise. Yeah, so I thought I might bought... make the baby a pumpkin hat. Oh yeah, that'd be cute. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I I've got a bag full of that, but I didn't bring it down. Yeah, so you've actually been really restrained this month. Yeah, I have. I bought a book and yeah. that, but then I did buy because <laughs> I've been a bit meh. I treated myself. So I bought myself a sewing pattern, a merchant and mills. Sewing pattern. So is that the pattern that you used? No, that that, that was oh. one actually. It came out of a magazine. Oh, ah, so it's quite a similar pattern. dress. Similar style, yeah, um, but not for stretchy fabric. Oh, okay. I didn't so, know this. I don't know anything um, about sewing. Uh, there's the back picture there, back and front view, and you can make tops as well. So that's the camber set by Merchant and Mills. And so people keep saying how nice it is to sew with double goals. Oh yeah, I keep hearing about it. So that. I've never sewn with double goals. So I've bought myself just some spotty, and it is double layer. Yeah, it looks kind of um, linen-y, doesn't it, it? Yeah, it kind of, it's definitely got that look it's about softer. it, but it actually has. Yeah, like, I can see the layers. Two layers when you, you peel them yeah. back, yeah. 
So, um, nice. Yeah, I just fancied doing something different. I don't, I hate buying summer clothes. When I come, it comes to summer, I open my wardrobe and it just makes me feel really depressed because I hate. I just love wearing jeans and tops <laughs> and covering myself up. Whereas well, you wear lovely things in the I, summer. I hate, and it's really weird because you're a summer baby and I'm a winter baby, but I hate winter clothes. Yeah. Coats make me depressed. Yeah. See, now I love I love just, oh, I love all of this. Yeah, well, I'm like, oh, get That's rid what of I it. want to do. And like, you wear all the lovely little dresses and all the bright colours and I sit in the corner looking dowdy, so... <laughs> I'm gonna make myself another day. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm absolutely oh. like I'm desperate now to get out of boots and out of tights. Now I get upset when I have to put my jeans away. <laughs> I'm so fed up of it. We're so it's so much easier to to dress for work in the winter in the summer than yeah. in the winter. I can get that. I I don't go out to work, so I I understand. You wear your pajamas. I, I just <laughs> mainly stay in my bed. Yeah. Um, I have got something exciting now. Have you got any more? No, I'm share. done. I'm done. So we were contacted by a lovely lady on Instagram called Jessie Marie Makes, and she is doing a sock club pattern sock club on Ravelry. <clears throat> and um, so for six months, at the beginning of each month, she will release a new sock pattern. And she asked if we would like to donate some yarn for the August pattern, and she's going to knit up her sample knit mm. in our yarn just rust i think i sent her in the end with some stellina and so she's doing the harry potter sock club um philosopher's stone sock club it, even so if you she's got a group on ravelry it's a new group jesse marie makes if you join the group and you at the beginning of june she will release the first pattern if you buy the first pattern you can join in the knit along and in June it will be Half Moon Spectacles. In July, Baby Norbert. August will be Diagon Alley and that will be our yarn. Um, in September, Hogwarts Express. October, Quidditch Fever. And November, Gred and Forge. And so, yeah, cow running from the 1st of June when the pattern is released. And you can find all the details at Jessie Marie Makes on Ravelry. So keep an eye out in August for the pattern that's made out of our yarn. I'm really excited. So she's sending me patterns so that we could share oh, nice. them. We cool. could, we could share them. Love so it. we'll get the patterns and yeah lovely so you'll probably knit some up yeah you'll probably knit some up and <laughs> yeah, probably knit I do like a new sock pattern. wow yeah it's lovely isn't it it'd, it'd just be good fun so yeah, yeah so yeah support her thank you so I think she's new to this so it's quite exciting and we have a set to give away <gasps> oh we've never done a giveaway we're doing a giveaway <laughs> so we do have a giveaway so 1st of June whoever wins this will get the first pattern sent to them on Ravelry so we don't have a Ravelry group, so if you will leave a comment down below, as everybody says, leave a comment. <laughs> um, and I just thought maybe you could just say who your favourite Harry Potter character is and why. And we won't, we won't, we won't know because we know nothing about Harry Potter. We have no idea at all. I, I, I think that. I watched half of the first film with Max and fell asleep. Yeah, I kind of did the similar thing, but then actually the Christmas before last, they played them all. Uh, they showed them all on TV at Christmas, and we watched every one of them, and actually I really enjoyed them. But I, I'm not a, like a fan or anything. Um, I can't get into stuff like that, but I know there are lots of people out there who do love it. So if you have a favourite character, tell us who they are and why. And then we'll pick somebody to win this sock club. Awesome. Um, yeah. That's a great phrase. Oh, our first giveaway. Oh, there so we go. Exciting. Proper podcasters. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I've got anything else left. By then, so, sure. should you hand over to John then? I think we should. Okay. I'm just going to check my just notes. Check, check, oh, she's my me. brain doesn't actually work. So yeah, if you're going to the Curious Handmade Market on the 9th of May, give us a shout out. <laughs> I want to see everybody who goes. <laughs> right um, then, yeah, let's hand over to John. See you later. Bye. John. Okay, so back to me for a short section when I'm going to talk you through some of the yarn projects I've been working on over the last month. Um, also give you a top tip again for your own photography, just some simple things that can help to make your images really work. And then we'll bring the girls back in again for us finishing off the podcast. So first of all, thanks ever so much for everybody who's joined in with the Unsprung Yarn Club. And um, we've got three months running over April, May and June. The April version was sent out to our subscribers uh, just over a week ago. Really hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for the positive feedback we've received on Instagram. Um, we're going to show you some images. 
Uh, some of the things come up on the screen now talk you through what was inside the parcel for April. So if you've subscribed from any of the other European countries and you're still waiting for your package to arrive, then just turn away now um, because this is what was inside. So the Unsprung Yarn Club started off with a beautiful skein of yarn which was called Granford Griggles. It was based on the idea for a Bluebell Woodland. Um, some beautiful colours in there, kind of blues, purples, also the greens and um, hope you enjoyed those. The second bit was some small, really vibrant mini skeins. So variegated mini skeins with different shades of greens that should complement the Granford Griggles really well. As well as that, Claire came across some brilliant little stitch markers, some Bluebell themed stitch markers. And we also threw in just the odd bit of confectionery and an image that I'd taken myself, so one of my prints based on Bluebell Woodland. So I hope you enjoyed what was in the first of the Unsprung Young Club. The second one have already started dying up and look forward to sending those parcels out towards the end of May. There's still a few days left for you to subscribe and at the time of filming we just got three spaces left for this month's Yarn Club. Um, so what else I've been working on? Well, I've been thinking actually about putting together a few sets again. So we started off with resurrecting an old favourite of mine um, this set is based on Hope Cove. Now again, a beautiful place that, that we've enjoyed visiting and enjoyed photographing as well. And Hope Cove gives us these three beautiful stains of blues and purples and greens and teals. And the three of them together make up the Hope Cove set. So this is each of them by themselves. I've really enjoyed dyeing these up again and loving the speckles which you can hopefully see coming through now. And the three of them together we know makes a fantastic fade. If you look back through the Instagram feed you can see an example of this set uh, knitted into a hat but I'm sure it would also make a range of other great products. So here we go, so this is the Hope Cove set and there's going to just be a few of these going up in the shop later on this week. don't know how to hold these. There we go. Okay, so do look out for the Hope Cove set. So the last set that I've been working on over the last couple of weeks um, is inspired by Hohi Locatelli's Fading Point set. And that pattern is just amazing. So I've been working on a range of blues just to try to get the right fade. And this is what we come up with. So this is actually, let's talk about the weather. And we've got five skeins in this set. Again, difficult to hold them up for you. But hopefully you can see what a fantastic gradient these are going to make together. Very few of these sets are going to be available in the shop and they will be in the shop pretty soon. So look out for that. And that's about it in terms of the two sets I've been working on. As well as that then the top tip for this month is how to take some great pictures yourself. Last month I talked about lead-in lines and the importance of taking something in the image whether it's patterns in the clouds um, a path, whether it's a fence line, anything like that that just draws your eye into the picture. Um, this month, top tip all about composition. Now, a lot of images these days tend to be taken in a square format, such as we see on Instagram, but also if you're taking images in this kind of um, landscape format, as we've got on the screen at the moment, the same kind of idea about composition works for both. Um, so, this time I want to talk about the rule of thirds. Now often we might think about putting the main subject right in the very centre, just as I'm sat now. So centre of the image, nice lot of space around the main subject that you're photographing. But actually if you're taking landscape shots, if you're taking a picture of people in their environment as well, then it's a really good idea to actually think about the rule of thirds. So if I use a few of these images as an example, if you put these images up on the screen and then broke them up into thirds, both vertically and horizontally, 
A great idea for composition is to think about placing your main subject on any one of these lines, or especially on where the intersection comes, from the horizontal to the vertical. So if you're taking landscape shots, have a look at the image of what's in front of you and think about where the best interest is. Is it in the sky or is it in the land beneath it? If it's in the sky, then think about having just a third of the image being the land and two thirds of the image being the sky. If it's the other way around, then think about just a third of the image being the sky and two thirds of the image being the land. Now that's one thing to think about. Um, the other thing is if you're taking images in a square format, they'll also think about going for that symmetrical type of shot. Um, Wes Anderson is a great film director that uses the symmetrical images an awful lot. I've got to throw that one in just for my nephew Jake, who's a massive fan of Wes Anderson and has done a lot of work studying about his use of symmetry. So think about either taking an image where you put the main subject on the rule of third or break the rules a little bit put them slap bang in the middle and go for something which is really symmetrical and draws your eye again to your main subject. Uh, some of the images I put on the screen while I'm explaining that hopefully helps you to see what I'm talking about. Now this is a short section for today. Um, over the next month we're going to be working on dyeing up the Unsprung Yarn Club from May. Um, can't tell you too much about the theme for that because if I did it wouldn't come as a surprise. So look out for that. Hopefully next month I can show you some of the work we've been doing for the Unsprung Yarn Club. And as well as that, we're thinking of looking at other fades, especially some of the other colorways that goes away from the blues and explores some other color combinations and patterns together. So that's the plans for the month ahead. Okay, so if you've enjoyed today's podcast, I'm going to finish off with just showing you a few of the things that are in the shop and looking ahead to the month of May. So to start off with, there are a few just bits and pieces left over. These two I think are absolutely gorgeous. So and do I, we need I'm to show you on screen rather than yeah, so just any Yeah, this shop. is Dr. Foster went to Gloucester. It just made me think of like a shower of rain and a puddle up to his middle, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I Somebody from America once said, I love the name Dr. Foster, where does that come from? And, I had to type the whole poem <laughs> on Instagram. Did. So yeah, this is Dr. Foster on our Hiddleston Bay Superwash Merino Nylon. And then another one of my faves and that is Triana on Bay. So it nice reminds me of seashells. Blues. Yeah. yeah. John took a really lovely picture of Triana on Bay at sunset. And yeah, it, was, so it was those colour. Long exposure shot. It was incredible. All pinks. It was just amazing. And of course you went to a beach with yarn in the name. Well, <laughs> of course we did. Tree Yarn and Bay, yeah. <laughs> My favourite bay of all. I love the speckles on that as well. Yeah, I love so the speckles. Not very many of those left in the shop, but... Oh, show the speckles. Worth Sorry. a look. <laughs> now this one actually is only one left, but I think it's worth showing again. I'm not sure if I, I said that in the last one. And that is one of yours, isn't it? Yep, who's pretty boy then? Just the greens on the end, because so, I think that's wonderful. Yeah, got some gorgeous greens. That's some lovely. very springy. Nice and yeah. speckly. It just reminds me of a budgery gar. Who's the pretty boy then? So that's that one, which is really cool. Now these two, I think, actually go really well together. And again, they're both yours rather than mine this time. <laughs> I know. So this is nobody buys my yarn apparently. <laughs> But he's a lobster, That's so this a is a lovely salmon pink with the green coming through it as well. Look at these speckles the again thermidor. just coming around here. Look at that. <laughs> you're so posh. Well, there you go. I don't think I've ever eaten lobster. I'm not that posh. And look at how well it goes with Move Over Darling. Uh, Cheers. Let me hold those two up together a minute. I'm going to need to take a skein of that home at some point. <laughs> we might do, there's not many left actually. But there we go. Look at these two together. Yeah, they're lovely. Look at that. Yeah, I really like what that. A great combination that makes. So that's those two. Cool. And I've got some still water. And yes. this is on the Cumberbatch base. Yes. Um, MCN, is it 801010? Yeah. It is, yeah. Um, it's lovely. Name. It's really, really squishy. And it's got a really nice sheen to it, actually. Yeah, it's kind of a, the kind of delphinium blue. Yeah. And it's it, um, kind of tonal. With it would be, it would make Maybe a lovely well. garment. Oh. Mm. It it's just so soft. It's yeah. Gorgeous. Really yeah. Like that one. Yeah, just that one. Love it. Yeah. 
Very nice. Cool. So that's about it. Of course, in my section, I've told you all about um, two of the sets that are going up. Small quantities of those, but you never know, I might end up re dyeing them if they go well. Um, so look out for those sets. They will be in the shop soon. And we're really pleased because only yesterday we hit 900 sales. So that wow. was a good landmark. Looking forward to 1,000. Yeah, maybe. And hopefully we'll that'll happen pretty soon. So, what's <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, we'll give something away then. Also, maybe. we're we're terrible. We're rubbish podcasters because we never say, um, you know, subscribe to our channel. Yeah, do. Which is what other people say. Um, but we, I noticed yeah. yesterday, we, I think we're nearly at 200 subscribers, which is really cool. exciting. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you yeah, like if us, you do it. subscribe and um, and hit the thumbs up yeah. or leave us a comment. We love to hear what you yeah, think. Yeah, we do. And don't yeah. forget to comment about the Harry Potter Sock Club. Yeah. You could win some patterns and then our yarn club will be coming out in there. It will be. Next one. Oh, By the time this one goes live, there may not be any more spaces left for this month. But do have a look at that. There were three spaces left at the time of filming, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, cool. And look out for the third in the series, which will be coming out at the end of May, maybe just before the next podcast. Okay. Cool. cool. Yeah, the colours are gorgeous. Oh, and Dan's phone. And Dan's phone. <laughs> so Daniel, we'll be... we're podcasting. Daniel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm gonna. Okay, good to see you all again. Bye bye. Daniel, we're no. podcasting! <laughs> Hello? Alright, all the lights are intact today.